Welcome back, everybody. Another wonderful day of Fusion 360. My voice is a little hoarse today, so it sounds a bit lower. I sound more like Barry White. But we are going to talk about merging and edge today. If you go to your drop down menu under modify, this is in the sculpting environment still. There were, I'm doing a tool set, set a series on the tools and sculpting. The merge edge is about the fifth down on the list. I added it to my toolbar right there. Now, what I have here is kind of a bit of a surfboard. It's just for fun. I made a fin. I took a cube, a box, and I molded it into a fin shape. I didn't add any extra lines here. But what I want to do is take this fin and I want to add it to the surfboard, make it one single object. Now, how do I do that? There's a few ways, but we're going to use merging edge today. So again, fourth or fifth, fifth down the menu, add it to your toolbar, and you will be just on the right path with me. So just watch this. When you merge edge, you can't merge an, a, a closed face. A closed face is something like this, where all the edges of this panel that I selected right here is attached to another one. It has to be open. So what I'm going to do is find the places that I want to merge. I want this to, this to these two, well, these four technically, it's mirrored these four to attach the surfboard so i'm going to get rid of those two those four at the bottom and it just opens up if i highlight them and then hit delete or backspace they open up and they work just the way i expect it i'm going to make this a little bit more even now the next problem is we have to merge this to this but we have to have the same thing on the surfboard as an open face it won't merge to a flat closed panel so we're going to have to draw basically the same shape inside this surfboard and then cut it out. Now, if you notice, there are, if I look at the edges here, there's one, two, three, four. I'm counting these individual panels, the bottom edge, one, two, three, four. Both are mirrored, so eight in total, but I'm only working with four because it works the same on both sides. Mirroring is wonderful for that whole reason. Now. We're going to take this insert point because insert edge is a bit sloppy. Uh, it only does parallel edges. You can do subdivide, but that actually only works on exactly the same parallel and perpendicular. I want to be a lot more custom with my new line. So I'm going to create an insert point. If I have this line here, which I'm going to line up with this one here, I need to have one that's attached to here. So I'm going to just click the bottom here. And I think this might throw an error. It doesn't. But it brings it all the way back there. I'm going to bring that back and try it again after I try the first one. This might happen. It depends on where the, the pressure is in your creation. So that's there. Let me just bring this up. And bring this up. I'm going to select this, actually. That might create more pressure. Oh, well. All right. Now, one more down here. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause and come back to this one because we're going to fix this. This is what I was waiting for. I've been trying to find an instance where an error happens like this, where everything turns. So I'm going to cut and come back because I'm going to actually make a video on this repair body tool. And I need this to happen for that. So excuse the cut. We'll be back in three, two, one, and we're back. So I just made a new video impromptly about the repair body. Worked out really well. And it was sort of this one-off issue where that thing you just saw didn't work. And it was I think it was a mirroring issue, maybe a code side issue. But let's try it again. And it works. Look at that. So Sometimes it does, and the odd time it won't. If it doesn't work the odd time, if you haven't seen that video yet, just hit the repair body, select this, hit auto repair. If it turns sharp like that, and you'll fix it really quick. Okay, back to our merging. Now I have one, two, three lines lining up. I'm going to bring this line further up, and ooh, no, I don't want that. That's nasty. Let me get rid of that. I'm going to make this so close because it will probably stretch down. There we go again. 
you get to watch me do it. So something is happening. So what I'm going to do is actually take this one. This is me just problem solving as I work through it. Yeah. So there's a few things happening here. All right. I think I should do this. No, I don't want one there. Take that. And this. This is going to relieve some stress on my object. This is totally stressed out. You can just cut that stress with a knife. That's a lame joke. Um, I'm trying to figure this out because merging is not working the way I want it to right now. I chose the wrong thing to teach you with. It actually worked really well when I practiced, but now it's not. So here we go. Attempt. That's a bit better. So let's see if I can pull this forward. No. So let's try this. I'm going to subdivide. And then we're going to specify. I don't want one there. That's fine. Okay. So there we go, those two points, bring them forward. Okay, this is terrible. I'm going to leave that there and add another one. Why not? When lines fail you, just add more. Probably the worst advice, but still, this works. So my surfboard is a little odd on the ends. Let me pull that. Come on, just play with me a bit. Here we go. Now it looks more like I wanted it to in the beginning. Pull this forward, and we are closer to being set. Okay, it's not perfect, but it's great. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, so I have this line here, one, two, three, joining up with one, two, three. I'm going to make another line across, and you can see what I do in a second and why. Yes, I know some of you might, and I can think of some people that will say this out loud right now, I am making two triangles. So this right here has one, two, three sides, and this one down here has three sides. That's okay right now. Why? Because I'm deleting them. I'm deleting the triangles. So once you've done this, you can see I have one, two, three, four, connecting to one, two, three, four. Same number of panels. You always want the same number of joints and panels and then I delete these. <laughs> Why is it not working for me? This is just the best right now. Try this one. Nope. All right, here we go. Parallel lines. One, two, three, four. This is going to, my surfboard is going to hate me. No, don't click there. You're listening to me small talk myself. This is one of the worst scenarios I can think of while trying to teach you this program. One, two, three, four, delete. It's not working. One, delete. Maybe it is causing the hole. Let me bring this up. Let's look at this. One, two, three, four. No. Don't select that. Yeah, I was wrong. You know what? It was actually working with the very beginning. This was this fin was in the way. Here we go. So now I have that. Now watch this. It's not lined up exactly, but that's okay. One. So merge tool, fifth down. Two, three. One, two, three, four. I didn't count four. Uh, maintain creases. I don't want that. What that means is I maintain the sharp edges. I want this to be a fluid flow. It's a surfboard, not a paper cutter. Whatever that means. Merge, and look at that. Look at that beauty. It's so smooth. It pulled it right out. Now I can clean these edges up here. This top here is not very pretty. So let me just pull this up. Nope. Let me just pull this up. And let me pull that up. There is the problem. Huh. 
<laughs> so what I would do is just kind of fix it around, move things, stretch it, pull it back a bit. There's a bit of an overlap here I can see. I'd fix that up. But that's how you merge something. So now my surfboard is taking more of a surfboard shape with my harder back. So thanks for watching, and I hope I will see you next time.